Hey everybody, it's uh, Hank here in the Radio Wasteland Jam Space. Um, a lot of you guys have asked, what gear do I use? So I'm going to do, before we have brand practice, a uh, quick little Hank Rotz rig rundown here. Alright, so I guess, I guess we'll start with what's on the floor. This is my pedal board. Very simple. Uh, it's running through the PB600 by Behringer. Great little piece of gear. I couldn't afford to buy, you know, I wanted the pedal train, but I didn't want all the gadgets and stuff that came with it. So first in the chain here is my Korg Blackout Tuner, Pitch Black Tuner, followed by my favorite pedal, my Slash Custom Wah Dirty Pedal. I'll give you some tones here near the end, maybe, if I can. I'm filming this. I'm filming this with my uh, cell phone, so yeah, this is a little odd. Uh, this is for you, Logan, by the way. Okay, next in line is this wicked Boss Super Overdrive pedal I got when I bought my first Watt pedal, which is the Jimi Hendrix by Dunlop. This is a Dunlop Crybaby as well. Um, next to that is my Boss Super Chorus. Really awesome chorus pedal. Comes in nice and clean. And the newest edition is my TC Electronics Flashback. Really fun pedal. I've been learning how to do a lot of the delays and stuff through that. And that goes in my Slash bandana. When I saw Slash open for Aerosmith. My amp, which is a pretty simple 100 watt solid state amp by Fender. It's the... FM212R, Frontman212, 212. 212 speaker cab, greenbacks, uh, I don't really use the clean channel ever, that's why the volume's at like 10, <laughs> I use the drive channel, gain's quite high, at about 8, Tra volume right now, because I'm just jamming by myself is around 2, but normally stage volume doesn't have to go higher than 3 or 4, uh, way too much mids. Mid's about six, bass around eight, because I do a bit of chugging, and reverb around three and a half. It's got a foot switch and a pre out and a power in, but I don't use those. I just use the amp. Again, I'll give you a wide shot of the amp there. All right, now to the guitars. I'm I'm a very simple guitar player. I used to just do plug in and play. Just start using pedals recently. There's some stuff here. Half a mic stand. Alright, so this is my guitar rack. See, I got newest to the family is my Squire Strat. Strat, big 70s style head stock. This is Sandy. Named it Bug Xander. Stock pickups, just single coil Squire pickups. I'm going to switch them out for uh, two Seymour Duncan stacked single girls, so they're a little quieter. And that's going to become a Seymour Duncan Little 59. Basic five-way toggle, uh, volume, tone, tone. On to the next buy. This is my, one of my main guitars. Just restrung it with, uh, Ernie Ball, or not Ernie Ball. I don't use Ernie Ball. Um, Diodario NYXL. This is my Hegstrom Super Swede. Mahogany body, flame maple top, an Echo 5 pickups, coil split. Really nice inlays up and down the fretboard. It's the Hegstrom headstock there. You can tell my gear is a little been used. That's the way I like it. Beautiful, eh? Love that flame maple. This guitar set me back about, oh, I won't tell you how much it was. Pretty guitar, sounds pretty gnarly. And this, last but not least, my main rig right now is the infamous Gibson SG. Yes, it is the one that you saw on Facebook that broke. You can see where the neck broke off. Gibson headstock, very nice. Beautiful finish. I love this finish. It's like a wine red. Solid 
workhorse guitar. Gonna let it get beat up. It's got 61 open faced zebra humbuckers in it, made by Gibson. So, yeah, that's uh, my rig. Quick little five minute rig rundown here. I'll try and give you some tones, maybe, if I can. Um, or just listen to Come See Us Live. We're playing May 13th at the mansion. We're opening, well, we're headlining, I guess. Uh, we're going to be playing with Ithron, um, the Obsidian Collective. It's their first show, and I've heard they're going to be sick. And Vividai at the mansion. Y'all should come down, just hear some tones and everything here. So this is Hank Rotz. Signing out.